Good morning. Happy Make It Happen Monday. How are you? It's been a tough week. Um, the Supreme Court decision to overturn Roe is hitting everybody really hard and there's so much going on around it. I just wanted to take a little time to share with you my experience. Um, so I was pregnant after I had my son. I was pregnant and um, it was a little problematic from the start, but then it looked like everything was gonna be okay. And I went in for my amnio and ultrasound and discovered that my baby's brain had herniated through the back of his skull that had not closed. So there was no way that he was gonna survive. There, he would have no brain function, even though his heart was still beating. Um, there was just, you can't live without a brain and you can't survive with a brain that's squished out of your skull that isn't closed. It was horrendous. Um, I had made the decision that I wanted to try to go and deliver him. At the time I didn't know he was a he, but I wanted to go deliver him and be an active participant instead of a victim to this tragedy. And so I went into the hospital and I had them shove stuff up my vagina to put on my cervix to try to get it to open so that I could de deliver the baby. And if by any chance he had any breath in him that I could hold him until he didn't any longer. But it didn't work. My cervix would not budge. I was losing blood. Um, I couldn't keep the baby in because it would have eventually killed me. And so I ended up having a DNC, which is also known as an abortion. So the baby was surgically removed. I remember my ex-husband said to me when I came out of surgery, he was so scared because my lips were literally white because I had lost so much blood. Um, it was a horrible experience. It was something you know, I, I would never want to go through again. Um, and if that happened today, and if I did not live in Connecticut, it would have probably eventually killed me because I wouldn't have been able to do what I did. So all this talk about rape and incest, yes. To have to go through that trauma and then the trauma of carrying a child, but also so many other things, ectopic pregnancy, um, miscarriages, um, life-threatening situations for the mother, no viability of the baby or the fetus. So many, abortion has so many different health care issues. And we need to recognize that it is health care. And it is also an option of a woman who just doesn't want to be a mother. There's nothing wrong with that. And she should have that option. And her and her partner should have that option. So when you're talking about this and you're discussing this, remember that there are so many situations that we don't know about, that we don't understand, that many people would have died and will die again if they don't have access to safe health care. And lastly, men, again, I am on a crusade. We need you. We can't get pregnant without you. We can't change this without you. Stand up for us. Stand up for yourself, because this is only the beginning, people. Find some time this week to really sit quietly, figure out what you need to do for yourself, and take good care. We're going to need all our strength and energy. And for all of you who have been through something, I see you, I honor you without judgment, and I send you love. Bye.